Hey guys, what's up? So what you're looking at is some uh, radius arm bushings in an old Bronco. It's a 1966, but um, this side actually is not that bad, but this has been sort of a, I've had this Bronco for 20 years, and this has been sort of like a pattern of failure. Uh, out of all the bushings of the Bronco that I've had to replace, I've had to replace these things uh, three different times. So when I first got the Bronco, I replaced them. Uh, a couple of years ago, I probably replaced them. And this side is actually fine, but the other side, I lubed it up a little bit, but that, that side gets loose. So I have it totally cranked down and I can't even get it uh, tight. Yeah, you know, I could probably put some more washers on there to make it tighter, but I recently lubed those up. So, but this is a uh, new thing that came out from Wild Horses and it's an angle bushing. So let me give you a better view of that. So, this is rubbered, but it's angled, so it's going to sit already rested. So the problem with these bushings right here is that they're under load when they're just relaxed. So this is actually going to prevent down travel. This is going to actually make it more stressful on down travel and less stressful on up travel. So it's already under a load going down. So I do actually have a 3.5 inch lift on this thing. And one inch body lift, but these are 30, like I said, 30 bucks over at Wild Horses, and uh, these are rubber, and these are polyurethane. But uh, I thought I'd give these things a shot, you know. Um, yeah, it just made more sense to me to have these things sitting, sitting in a rested state, angled like that, and not under a load. So I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna take these things off, and uh, get on there. Alright, so this is the actual problem side, and this one, I can't get good pressure on it, even though this thing is totally cranked down the nut. And so I'm getting a popping sound on this side, like when I come in and pull into my driveway, pop, pop, and then also uh, getting a little shake up here in the front. So, like I said, I've had issues with these. I mean, I get, yeah, I mean, these things I've had not, you know, recurring problems, so. Alright, so I'm gonna get the cutter pin off there and get this off and I'll try to push this out without having to sometimes I have to take the drive shaft off to, to, to move it forward enough to where I can get you know a new, new uh, thing on there let me show you how I do this so I first find my farm jack up at the front there I've done this is my fourth time doing it so I'm getting pretty good at it so I disabled my shock I have a Fox shock it might be different um, I had to undo the drive shaft and then I just get under the truck and I, I get my leg and I push this thing forward so the main thing is to get the load off the off the front of the truck, you know, so this thing will spin, you know, just my hand, I can move it, you know. So now that I have nothing really restricting it too much, and the only thing is, you can see the spring already bent forward already like this. So, um, just kind of get in there and get the thing popped out, put the new one on and pop it back in. Um, I mean, I could totally uh, take the springs off too, but that would be a headache. So I'm trying to do this without having to take the whole thing apart, you know. So, all right. All right, so now you can see the radius arms just push forward and they've automatically fell down. You can see the angle of the spring is like that. And like I said, the most important thing is all the weight right now is on, on the farm jack here in the front. So now I can go and I'm gonna clean up all this stuff and get those new bushings on there. So, all right. All right, there it is. So I actually uh, ran my wire wheel on this thing. So I wanted to clean up some of that rust off that thing because you know, like I said I don't get this thing every six to eight years I get there so um, I'm also going to use instead of like lithium based grease because it's not polyurethane anymore that's the old, old one I've been using silicone grease which is uh, rubber safe so this is like plumbing grease that's what I'm going to wrap I'm going to coat all the pieces of metal all the rubber and I painted the uh, my old hardware here so like I said I never get to this so might as well do it while I'm down there. All right, see the angle right there? It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is definitely a pain in the ass to do. So, so I gotta get this side going, but uh, you'll see the angle. All right, there they are. Got a stainless steel cotter pin in there. See, now you can see how they're kind of resting. See if they're at an angle like that? It's smaller up here, bigger down here. So now it's actually resting. It's not strained while it's resting in, in, its, in its default position. 
natural position, default position. So, um, nice. So I guess we'll see how it is. Put, put the shocks back on, get it going, and we're done. So things are like 30 bucks, put a link on it. But yeah, I love when they improve stuff, man. They, they make things better. So, awesome, guys.